Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. You know, I have this great scripture that um, I just love. It's so inspiring and encouraging to me. And it's 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. And it says, Yet the Lord is faithful. Now, I want you to understand what he's saying because this is really important. He's saying, Yet the Lord is faithful. He's telling us how faithful he is. He says, and he says, Yet, yet the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and set you on a firm foundation and guard you from the evil one. That's powerful. It's very powerful. But listen to what we do. God spoke to my heart, and he told me this. He says, I am faithful even though you don't see me. I am faithful even though you're crying in the corner. I am faithful even when you're in fear. I am faithful. And I'm trying to pull you to the rim of faith. And then he says, so what took you out of your spiritual awareness? And I thought that was very important because sometimes we get out of our spiritual awareness of what God is doing in our lives and we get right on to what the devil's doing in our lives. We get on to the hurt, we get on to the pain, but we can jump on that depression and we can jump on that tears and crying. We can jump on complaining. Oh, I'm a big one for complaining. Oh, Lord, why? But you see, that's what happens. We get out of our spiritual awareness. And he says, and what made you look into the world into fear and discouragement and depression. Where were your eyes? Where were your eyes when I turned toward you to help you? You see, he, this is God is talking to your heart and he's telling you, I'm here, I'm faithful. I've always been here. Who, who pulled you out of your spiritual awareness? Where, where were you looking when I was talking to you? And then the last thing says, which, what grabbed a hold to you that made you want to walk right out of my word. What grabbed a hold to you? He said, and then he said, who told you you were naked? You see, this is what he told Adam and Eve when Adam and Eve ran from him in the garden. He said, who told you you were naked? Who told you you weren't in my covenant? Who told you you weren't covered in my glory? Who told you that I'm not walking with you and loving you? Who told you this? See, this was God talking to us. And he's telling us, where is our spiritual awareness? And he said, stop and listen to who's talking to you. Stop and listen to who's talking to you. And sometimes I think we really need to do that. First off, when things start getting bad, when things start getting out of control, stop and see who's talking to you. Is it God or is it the devil just trying to get your goat? Is it the devil trying to get your joy? Is it the devil trying to get your happiness? Yeah. Stop and listen to who's talking to you. Now, I just want to go over one more thing on 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. I just want to go over what he's saying because to me it's so powerful. In that little verse, he is telling you that I am so faithful to you. He is telling you, I will strengthen you. And he says, I will set you on a firm foundation. And he says, and I will guard you from the evil one. So one more time, stop and listen who's talking to you go out and make it a great day. But let me pray for you if you've been like me and we've been listening to the wrong voice and not listening to the power and the faithfulness of our God in our lives and we don't feel him. Lord Jesus, I just pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, I ask that you just infuse me with your power, Lord God, that I will know the difference between your voice and, and, and the voice of the devil, that I will know that what, you put, what the devil is putting on me is not from you, that I can walk in discernment and know, Lord God, that I want to be closer to you so I know your voice and the voice I hear I will never walk away from that I know your voice so well that I also know it's not I also know when it's not your voice thank you Lord God that your voice is in my ears it's in my heart and I understand it and I know it I hear you every day Lord God I thank you that your voice is is like singing angels to me and I praise your holy name that I know my God and my God knows me Thank you, sweet Jesus, in your holy name. Everybody go out and make it a great rise and shine a day. And that just means rise above, rise above anything that the world has given you today. Amen and amen.